Want to speak real English from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at EnglishClass101.com. Making you learn by having fun. It's a thing. Infotainment. Ice! Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Top Words. My name is Alicia, and today we're going to be talking about 10 things to do in the summer in the United States. So let's go. To travel abroad. To travel abroad. To travel abroad. Abroad means outside of your country. So meaning to travel to a place not the United States, in my case. Please don't forget to in this expression. So many of my students will say this uh, summer I'm going Europe. You need to use to before the place. You do not, however, need to use to before there. So like students sometimes will say, uh, I want to go to there. You can't do that. You have to use to before the specific name of a place. There is not a specific place, so you don't need to use to. Keep that one in mind. To relax at the beach. To relax at the beach. Ah, oh, that sounds fantastic right now. To relax at the beach. You go to the beach and you just relax there. You lay in the sun, you go swimming, maybe you drink a beer, you get a tan if you would like to do that. Of course, some people don't. You put on sunscreen, whatever it is that you like to do at the beach, you just do that and enjoy. In a sentence, I would rather relax at the beach than have a really active vacation. To learn English with EnglishClass101.com To learn English with EnglishClass101.com Thanks! So, I guess if you are very ambitious this summer, good for you, you can learn English by doing what you're doing now. Uh, or I think you can visit, I presume you can visit the website for more content there too. I'm going to put my time to good use and learn English at EnglishClass101.com. To have a barbecue. Oh yeah, the next one is one of my favorite things ever to do in summer, wherever I am. It's to have a barbecue or to have a BBQ is also okay, but barbecue usually. BBQ is in like writing. I love having barbecues with my friends in the summer. Every 4th of July, my family has a big barbecue. To party all night. The next expression is to party all night. To party all night, you don't, it doesn't have to be summer or the United States to party all night. Just saying. <laughs> anyway, to party all night means to do something you enjoy, presumably with your friends or not, I guess. I partied like all night at home. I tweeted pajamas are the best and then I tweeted a picture of myself really excited about a cookie and was very embarrassed about that the next day, so I deleted it in the morning. <laughs> Since I won't have school in the morning, I'm going to party all night. In a different sentence, I don't like partying all night. I get tired. I always hit a wall at like 3 a.m. Like I'm like, yay! And then 3 a.m. I'm like, I'm ready to sleep. To get a tan. To get a tan, to get a tan, in some cultures this is a good thing, in some cultures it's not a good thing. It means to sit in the sun or lay in the sun and let the sun uh, change the color of your skin. Be careful, There's, there are two expressions in English. There is one to get a tan and another is to get a sun burn. So in U.S. culture anyway, getting a tan means like your skin turns like a darker brown color but when it turns red, it's bad. That means you've burned your skin. So tan, good, burn, bad. So we'd have two separate words uh, to describe that. In a sentence, you'll find me poolside getting a tan. To go hiking. The next expression is to go hiking. So hiking means walking or trekking, usually in a mountain or in a nature setting. So in a sentence, I used to go hiking with my family every summer. That's roughly true. In this sentence, I'm going to hike the Pacific Crest Trail to work a part-time job. The next expression is to work a part-time job. To work a part-time job is very common if you're a student especially. So when you have your summer vacation, it's a chance for you to earn a little bit of money by working at a part-time job. Uh, in a sentence, unfortunately she can't go because she has to work at her part-time job. Ah, when I was a teenager, I had a part-time job at a golf course. Yeah, because I was on the golf team at school. Very convenient, lovely experiences. A plus, everybody. To have fun with friends. 
To have fun with friends, also something that you do not need to only do in summer, but which you can do anytime. We're having fun now, aren't we? Yay! <laughs> so to have fun with friends is just to enjoy time with your friends. It's great. Uh, in a sentence, I love having fun with my friends whenever I can. He has fun with friends, but he doesn't do much else. Oh. To attend summer school. The next one is to attend summer school. To attend summer school usually has kind of a bad image in, I feel, in, U in the U.S. anyway, because it sounds like maybe you missed something in regular school. Um, but for some people, maybe there's a special course they want to attend or like a special internship program or just something special extra that they would like to study. In a sentence, uh, I hated going to summer school when I was a kid. Since I failed the class, I'll have to attend summer school. So those are 10 things that you can do in the summer in the U.S. or in many other countries, I think. If there's something that you like to do in the summer in your country, or in any country for that matter, let us know in the comments. So thanks very much for watching this episode of Top Words. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. We will see you again soon for more fun stuff. Bye!